Hi, my name is Dominic Wyndham Giddens, the director of coffee of Wyndham's Beijing Crafted Coffee Roasters. At Wyndham's, we import specialty grade green raw coffees, all from around the world, fresh crop, and we import them and we roast them here at our facility in, here in Dallas Road Christ Church, where we blend package and in-house developed a line of coffees where we export around the world. Someone asked, well what makes us Barbadia? And we're like, well, the fact that we're roasting into Barbados. And then it made us ponder, okay, yes, well, how does this make us Barbados? How do we create products that someone can say that can only be found in Barbados? And so that led to the development of a, our series of blends. The blends are, more, are extremely complex to mix because again, it comes down to our want, our want to be consistent. Single origins change and vary by uh, season, but, a, but a, most of the coffees um, consumed in the world are blends. It's how do you make something consistent? And that it took a year of development trying to find coffees that one complemented each other, created something unique, and then addressed, addressed the need in the market. It was something that needed to be a price, a particular price point, um, something truly unique to Barbados, and tasted great. Barbados is known for its surfing. It's actually probably one of the best waves in the Caribbean about the world, and it's something that I'm truly passionate about. We have amazing natural resources here when it comes to our beaches and to our waves, and just the locales in which these waves come from. So the surf series was an easy way for us to present a authentic, realistic, honest way of portraying Barbados that's also not talked a lot about. Soup Bowl, our, one of our quintessential blends, is about the wave that's out in Bashaba. It is literally one of the best waves in the world. It is actually voted as one of the best waves in the world. Our blend this allows us to one, tie a unique, truly unique location of Barbados to a truly unique high quality product and so we both in symbiosis benefit. Barbados gets talked about, I get talked about in the coffee sense, Barbados gets talked in the tourism sense and this is one of the ways we're using to benefit and grow our brand. From there we have what we then decided was our true mostly unique product. Barbados is known as the land of rum and or it's actually not anymore. Barbados seems to, people don't seem to know that Barbados is the land of creating rum. So this is a way where we can proudly say in Barbados created rum, we are the founders of rum, we are the ones who export rum, we are we are a true high-end rum making uh, economy and island. How can we meld those things? So again, we went to an artisanal rum maker where we can guarantee that we're the only ones having the casks. We age our coffee in those casks pulling out all those amazing nuances that make Barbados rum amazing. And we can then transfer it to our coffee. And then again, it becomes a unique product that no one else in the world can have. And that's, we're very proud of that. And to that respect, it tastes very, it, it tastes great. People want it. And again, it becomes a truly unique product that we get to export around the world. We originally came to the BIDC in about 2018 because this is when we were, this is when our export push was happening. Our website was up and running. We were getting lots of inquiries regionally, internationally, and we needed help to understand this one because each location in the world does have different uh, requirements. And we wanted again, always, we never wanted to be on the back foot, we're always on the front foot. So we immediately we were, okay, we need to export. We're exporting to the US, we're exporting to the UK, we're looking to do interregional um, export. So we went to the, we Googled it. We found out that BIDC was the, exp, uh, the, the certifi certifying agents for exports. And that was the original initial contact. I first met Dominic, um, he came to the ABC. He had some challenges with certification. And as you will know, the ABC um, is the only organization in Barbados that certifies exports. And having met Dominic, I came to his operation here. And as I walked through the door, see his operation, we had a chat. From that moment, I knew that, you know, Dominic understand what he wanted, his operation. He walked me through the process. Um, 
to see exactly how the coffee is being roasted, uh, how it's being tasted. And the impression I got from Dominic is that he was ready. You know, he had like, he had all his ducks in a line. And so it was very easy for me, uh, from the ABC perspective, to engage Dominic, to work with Dominic, because he understood what he wanted. And we we often look at small businesses not not having all the ducks in a row. But Dominic, for one, from the onset, he had that going on. Um, so from that perspective, the relationship starts to snowball. Um, Dominic started to go in a different direction in terms of expansions because he's um, one that obviously talks about how far he wanted to be ahead of the curve. And that's something that we really support at the ABC. The ability for companies to not think only locally, but um, globally. And it's very critical because one, it improves jobs, gives more jobs to individuals, or a lot of job expansion, I should say. Um, two, foreign exchange, which is very critical to the economy. But three, most importantly, a brand Barbados. And we can't have an export industry or a thriving export industry without a brand. Brands are very critical because they bring you know how to the island, they bring understand what we have to offer the small island. And as you go around the world and you look at various brands, you can always pick them, pin them to a particular country or particular territory. So one might have to look at that, how do we brand Barbados? Um, and Dominic, through, through the ABC, we would um, look at our stack program, our special technical assistance program, and we recognize that he needed the expansion in terms of new machinery or more machinery, um, training, and we decided that this is something that is a good fit for the ABC. We went through the STAP program, so through Glendon, and I've been through other types of certif not certification process, I've been through other grant application processes where I think they're more about the ego of the application versus the actual helping of people. The BIDC came in, Glendon said, tell me what you need. We put it through a program, he advised us, said, well, look, I think based off of what your main goals are for the next couple of years are, let's focus on getting you some new equipment or upgrade certain equipment or allowing you to improve processes that allow you to then achieve your goals. And we went through the step process, Glennon came in, we went through a whole business plan, he advised what we needed to show, um, and he really literally just helped us through the entire process, which was so unique because it was actually a helping hand versus trying to just jump through hoops. And that's one of the key things. He genuinely wanted to help us. And that's where I genuinely got the VIDC, I think, as a organization, wants to help. And that's one, I think, the most important things. So after the initial STAP program, which we implemented, we were able to get some, ref uh, we were able to get some funding. We then went into the export development uh, training, a six month program where um, you came in and they brought in consultants and we learned to, and they just explained just some basics. A lot of it I didn't know, but a lot of it was there were key critical pieces of information that definitely helped us solidify, okay, if this is our plan, this is what we need to execute it. So again, the training, I am a proud recipient of the 2019 uh, Export Development Program. I was very excited and I also was able to meet other Barbadian producers who again, we can share information, learn from experiences, and hopefully grow together. From then, we were then shortlisted for the Accelerate program. The Accelerate program was a way to help Barbados, one, grow its exports. I commend the Barbados government to and the BIDC for providing and implementing this project. And we, again, went through the same process. Glendon helped us, provide us the information that was required, helped us collate formulate a plan and luckily we have we we were accepted to be part of it and we've implemented it and it is a critical time with COVID right where the world is contracted we've been able to keep focus on our goals which is being a premier Barbadian brand and be the specialty coffee brand of Barbados around the world. Businesses in the food sector in Barbados need to understand that it's a tough, tough industry. Uh, it's almost a perfect market. Easy entry barriers, easy exit barriers. 
Manny and Dominic, um, here at Wyndham's Coffee, they had a business plan. They understood um, their business model, um, which is very, very important because you're talking about margins, you're talking about markups, you're talking about um, things that will make or break your business in food. Um, and because that people can switch very easily, they don't necessarily spend a lot of time being that loyal. So you have to deliver quality and you, you constantly hear Dominic talk about the quality of windows. And it's very important that small businesses understand where they need to be at. They have to be able to differentiate yourself in the market. What is your value proposition? And if you can really take that and explain it, define it, and, and, and put it out there to the wider public, even Barbados in the Caribbean or beyond, you'll be really competitive, but you have to be known for something and really be able to do it extremely well. When we go back to the operations here at Wyndham, we recognize that they do a lot of tasting, they understand they do a lot of blending, they mix their coffees with local rum. So they offer something extremely different, um, which is very important. And me coming from the, um, my background in operations, you have to look at your operations, very, very critical. This is where you make your money, huh? um, especially with your equipment. Do we stay manual or do we go semi or fully, fully automated? Which will kind of give you that competitive advantage because you're talking about economy to scale. Again, you, you, when you look at your, your, your finances, you're going to be talking about your cash flow, you're going to talk about margins and market. And more, more often or not, small businesses or businesses in the food sector miss those things. And those things are very critical for businesses to evolve, to develop, to move on. You have to pay attention um, to those details. Because yes, you are selling food, but everybody else is selling food. What would make your brand or make your product different from any other person in the marketplace? You have to understand that and you have to leverage that each and every single day because um, the world is competitive. You need to find your mark. And once you find that mark, you, hit it, you need to hit it every single time. What most small businesses forget about is Quality is definable by one thing, but consistency is the other. I think that's the one a major tenet that most boutique small companies do not understand. Anyone can make a product once well, probably, but it's how can you make it five times, 10 times, 100 times, over and over and over. Because from brand quality, you then get brand loyalty. Loyalty is based off of when someone can know is that when I drink Wyndham's coffee, it's going to taste close to what I drank yesterday and the day before. And that's actually a key tenet that we at Windows are very is, insist upon. It is actually, there's quality and there's consistency because anyone can make a good product in the world. But one has to make one again and again and again. And that's how we grow, that's how we've grown our market and our very loyal fan base through those consistency of quality and consistency. And I would say that any small business has to understand that. And the BIDC has helped us do that. That's how we get into why, what equipment that we've decided to choose is. Are we going to stay manual? Are we going to get certainly automatic? Are we going to automate it? And how does that affect our long-term growth and the aspects of what does it bring to the brand? Right at this moment is to survive. It's going to be tough. We're in this terrible uh, the world is in, is in decline, we are shut down, we're no longer being able to rely on our bread and butter, tourism. And so that's, to me, one of, again, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna take it in a positive light, we're gonna shift. It's because we are no longer able to rely on the tourism, we don't know when tourism will really come back into the full force it did, we then have to now shift and pivot to our online sales. We have, thanks to the BIDC and our the Accelerate project, we are working on updating our website. We've worked really hard with our shipping partners so we can make it really inexpensive to ship products outside of Barbados. And through this effort and marketing, we're, going to, we're, we're targeting the export markets more. Why? Because one, there, there, there is such untapped potential in the, in the international markets. And if we can just get a sliver of it, it will see us through this very difficult time. Um, we're going to secure contracts. We're going to secure the, the certifications required. And we're very happy that we have a partner who is actually on our side 